have a sense of, uh, was, there, was there sort of a sense of uh, urgency about you guys out there? You know, we really felt, you know, we felt that you guys, that this was kind of a prime opportunity to break that drought you guys were on? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, coming in, we just, we took a we took a bad loss last game, and we wanted to make sure that um, you know we we had a rough start to the beginning of the season. We weren't going to let that you know define us and you know define the whole season. So we had to make sure that we bounced back today. So I think, especially that starting group, we really came out with uh, with the fire to start it up. Just defensively, as a group, how were you different than you were last game? Um, I thought we played a lot harder and. Like he said, we knew we had to bounce back. We started out the uh, conference 0-3, and, and it was just a different mindset. Um, we've been guarding well this year, and actually we focus on a lot of offense actually more this, this week because we've been struggling on the offensive end, but we've been guarding well, and it, and it worked out for us tonight. Guys, they made four baskets in the first half. Um, if you just talk about you, you addressed the defense a little bit, but as that half went on, just the fact that they were struggling and you guys were really pressuring them so well just sort of feed into your confidence? And uh, well, coach always talks about the, that killer instinct. So, you know, every time, you know, they ended up getting the ball, we're trying to get kills or, you know, you know, end up putting together three stops in a row. So as that kept happening, we were trying to, you know, keep it going and keep it going and, you know, basically keep them, you know, bust the lead wide open as, as best as we could. Coaches on the sideline were constantly screaming disposition, disposition. Defensively, you guys are up about 20-something in the first half. You have loose balls, and you are diving on top of each other for loose balls. What does that say about this team building on that effort that was mentioned earlier? Um, it was just our, our focus to come out and play hard, um, defend our home court, play nasty on defense, get on the floor, get stops. And, and tonight we, we got an early lead, and it helped us and it built confidence throughout the game. Defensively, in that first half, was that just a matter of uh, them just simply not making shots, or did you guys feel like you all were kind of on your defensive game there with the clamps down? Um, I think it was a little bit of both. They were struggling, but also um, I think the first half when we were contesting shots, um, they were about one for twelve or something, and non-contest they were three for six. So we were we were contesting really well, and I think that's the main reason for uh, their misses in the first half. Is uh, this the uh, is this the most comfortable you have felt, um, Mike, since coming back from that ankle injury? Yeah, for sure. I'm getting I'm getting better every day, um, and I'm I'm probably almost close to 100 percent right now. So, well, as good as this offense has been, were you guys surprised to see it struggle there for a few games? Um, not really. Um, but we knew losing Jeremiah it would it would hurt us a lot. But we have to find different ways. We're a good team, and like I said, this last couple of days we actually got back to the basics and worked on offense a lot more in practice. And we just have to have the confidence, know each player um, can get any any time, get points, and, and that's what we did tonight. When you, uh, when you say getting back to the basics, what, what, what do you mean by that? You know, like what kind of things? Just just the different basics? drills and, and focus on the offensive end. Um, we were moving the ball. Um, really well in practice this week. Just it was our main focus, you know, just just getting back to the basics.